My name is Rüdiger Eichholz. I'm from Stuttgart in Germany and we're here in the Bodensee Sport Clinic at Friedrichshafen at Lake Constance. And uh, that is an orthopedic clinic and we're doing shoulder surgery and every patient gets a, a regional anesthesia, in this case an interscaline catheter. And uh, we're doing it ultrasound guided and we've got a little nice fancy probe, Wi-Fi connected to a tablet. And this probe is very special because it has got like two probes in one. So there's one linear probe and side by side there is also a phased array. And depending on the preset, um, it kind of automatically uh, switches between both uh, footprints. In order to demonstrate this, I will quickly assess the diaphragmatic function uh, before the block and then we also will do it after the block because as we know that there are quite a few uh, hemidiaphragmatic um, paralysis after the interscaline block. Okay, so the app on the iPad is quite easy to use. So what we do is I just activated the voice commands. So I can either um, run the settings and the image optimization on the touch screen, I can run it through buttons on the, um, the scanner, which I can customize and I also can run it by voice control. I will quickly demonstrate this. So I put the probe on in an intercostal window and find a more upper window for the diaphragmatic function. Here we have the diaphragm. And now I can uh, a voice command the thing, increase depth. I also can use my fingers and this is how it works. And now I will have the diaphragm on. <clears throat> okay, just uh, like this. Capture video. Now the video is running. Können Sie mal tief einatmen? Okay, the dirty curtain is coming in. Und wieder ausatmen. So this is a totally normal diaphragmatic function. Um, here we have it. And uh, capture video will stop the video. M mode will start the M out. Capture video. Können Sie mal tief ein- und ausatmen? Okay, und wieder ausatmen. So we've got a totally normal diaphragmatic function. Können Sie jetzt mal so, ähm, so schniefen, wie wenn Sie einen Tropfen unter der Nase hängen hätten? So ganz schnell. Ja, genau. Moment, Moment. So, und jetzt nochmal. Ja, und nochmal. Okay, this is a sniff test, everything is normal. Capture video will stop the recording. B mode will go back into the normal B mode. Okay, so we have a totally normal diaphragmatic function. And with the same probe, what we can do is we can change the preset and demonstrate that using the linear probe, in this case in a nerve preset, I could use lung preset, I can quickly look on the plural window. So it's kalt here. Okay, so we've got a standard window here. Increase depth. Now we have the plural sliding. Wonderful with a little uh, common tail artifact here. Capture video. The video is running and I also can demonstrate that the chest wall, every black and white dot really uh, stays as, as it is, whereas below the plural line, we've got a very, very unsteady image. If I zoom it in, you've got this here. And especially if you compare between the lines, like the white plural line, you can see what the difference is that comes about because of the, um, the moving mirror plane of the uh, perioidal pleura in this case. Okay. And I also can uh, put the M out in M mode. It starts here. We've got a wonderful capture video. And we've got a wonderful seashore sign here with also in some parts, some lung parts. B mode, capture video. So the recording stops and everything is set for preparations for the block. And for this, I will do a quick pre-scan. I will change the position of the table. Ich gebe sie ein bisschen zurück. And the position of the table is beach chair already, so it's more cold here, in order to facilitate all the processes here in the operating theater. Now I put the probe on, marker points to my own 
left eye in order to have the right image orientation. I just quickly um, adjust the image also on the touch screen it is possible and of course on the touch screen I also can start the video which is running now. We've got the pleura, the rib, the subclavian artery. Now I follow the plexus into the interscaling groove and there are some arteries here as you can see in the middle of the image. Color mode. Here it is. B mode. And we're focusing on the superior trunk and which is in here already so we see uh, the vertebral um, capture video we can see the vertebral arteries and veins right here and we've got the the C7 here we've got C6 here and C5 spinal nerve C5 here and even C4 uh, I can see the bony shadow and now I follow um, the nerves that comes out of C4 and goes into the cervical nerves pathway and now end up at the posterior edge of the sternocleidic muscle and this is where I actually put the local anesthetic in because I want to anesthetize the supraclavicular nerves too and they are in the center of the image not really uh, seen very very well here however even if they are not seen we can still inject into the um, uh, lateral cervical nerve pathway to numb these nerves. So it's normal here. <clears throat> of course I keep my distance between the needle and the probe now because it's not uh, with the steroid cover at the moment. Let's keep seeing Klein Peaks. Little skin injection. Capture video. I go in and here I am and you see that the needle is dancing just a little bit in order to separate all these horizontal fascial layers. Now I take the probe off and I do like a subcutaneous tunneling with the local anesthetic in the direction where I will insert the catheter. That's it and now we will do all the preparations for like the sterile condition. <clears throat> 